All right, guys. Um, welcome back. It's part number two of uh, Hell uh, Hellblade, and uh, I have find a uh, that signature sign to open the hell that gate. I call it Hell Gate. It's right here. You see, it was in a in forms of a shadow. What happened is you have to hold the uh, right trigger button and then hold it in your mind and then look around the stones and you will see it enclaved right here as you can see there it is see that shadow right here right here that's what it was now we can open the door it took me a while to figure that out but uh, I finally got it uh, one more thing I want to say this game looks stunning. The Unreal Engine 4 in this game is just like... It shows its true potential of what Unreal Engine 4 can do. And for those of you who didn't watch my first part, uh, I suggest you watch the first part. This game deals with schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is a very serious disease. Uh, it's no joke. It's a very serious disease and... Uh, Hopefully this game will give you an outlook, give you an outlook on just how serious and bad that disease is. I went through it. It sucks. You have voices in your head constantly. You can concentrate. You will get panic attacks because uh, your voice is telling you something's gonna happen, and it's like you're getting all the false information, getting all sorts of uh, voices in your head. Imagine have, having like 3,000 people in your head talking at once. That's how it feels. It worked. I spent six years in slaved in hell. But I watched them. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen. And everyone else laughed. Together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Another voice joins us. She was trying to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. But what good is that? By the way, I'm going to try to go ahead and uh, do a comparison between the PC version and uh, PlayStation 4 Pro version on my monitor to see how they differ. I think they're going to have the same resolution, 2560 by 1440, but I think PlayStation 4 will probably have medium to high settings. Uh, but the PC can handle very high. I have this thing on the very high settings on QHD. I was a bit disappointed that they didn't include native 4K on uh, PC version, but that's okay. QHD is beautiful as as it is too, you know. You guys also have to remember, man, uh, the games five years from now, they're going to be so photorealistic. I'm not kidding. Five years from now, mark my words, 2023 or 2024, the games will look so photorealistic that you won't be able to tell a difference. I'm serious. We're almost there. Uh, we're so close, man. We're so close. Photorealistic graphics are almost there just look at Detroit for example that game Detroit by David Cage from Quantum Dreams oh that will look fantastic and look at this game for example this is Unreal Engine 4 and uh, I'm pushing this engine to its maximum I got everything selected to maximum so this is like as highest as you can get out of this engine right now on this game. And it looks 
fantastic as you guys will be seeing it because I am recording this in the highest possible bit rate uh, in true QHD 2560 by 1440 this puts like even Horizon Zero Dawn to shame it puts even um, every other game that came before it puts it to shame Oh my goodness. Wish me luck here. And you guys hear all those voices, so that's what it feels like having schizophrenia. You hear all these voices in your head, man. It's very, very difficult, man. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side, and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the old father cast her down into Helheim gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was the world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side, and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the old father cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain. So I need to find Hela. Which way should I go? This way? Or this way? I guess we have to go down. I'll be honest with you guys, at the moment, at the moment of this recording, I have not seen anything uh, anything better than this graphically. I see some light over there. There we go.
closest day. Oh my god, here we go. Oh, get up. I love the combat mechanism here, it's pretty good, man. What the hell happened? Did I die? What what happened? A vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head. The seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. <laughs> All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. Wow, really? The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. For now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. He's not right. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, 
you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire, Surt, and the god of illusion, Van Raven. Spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. It won't open. So we basically have to fight every and each one of these gods to open the door. And, um... <laughs> you know, this game has has a little bit of God of War. It has a little bit of God of War, but it mainly has a little bit of, um... What's the word I'm trying to use? It's unlike any other game you played. Sure, we can use reference to God of War a little bit. But mainly this game, it's about dealing with schizophrenia, like battling your mind. You know, the disease in your mind. And what it's real, what it's not. And, and you know... Uh, I don't mean to go off the subject I don't mean to go like way too deep into the whole schizophrenia thing but we have to mention schizophrenia because this game deals with schizophrenia which is a very horrible and terrible mind disease it can kill you literally it can do that uh, when we look and see what happens to some of the you know singers uh, look at for example uh, Chris Cornell, and then you look at the other guy from uh, uh, Lincoln Park. So, uh, and then let's talk about Heath Ledger. You know, Heath Ledger, you know, was it really a drug overdose or was it something else that led him to that? Was it schizophrenia? Was it something in his mind? I mean, look, the mind is very fragile. And I'm not going to go too much and too deep into that to talk about that because it's a very uh, touchy subject. But it's something that should be explored and should be talked about so we can understand it better. So that we can cure it better. Okay. Now let's fight these bastards. But graphically, look, uh, graphically it's a stunning, stunning game. My only complaint is I wish that it that they gave the options of native 4k but that it's okay that's fine you know uh, QHD still looks great QHD upscale to 4k on this monitor looks almost as 4k so I'm not complaining and all the settings are set to very high this is like as highest as you can go the Northmen say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice, and the first giant was born, and was named Emir. The ice continued to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a car whose milk fed the giant. That's right, a cow, but you weren't expecting that. Yeah, that's funny. A cow. <laughs> All right, let's fight them. I'm going to fight this guy first. Whoever he is. We'll go with him. Valraven, ancestor of the seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Follow the path to Valraven and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. All right, so let's continue. just dwell into all of this detail uh, for those of you even with the cell phones even if you have a Samsung or iPhone uh, with 1440p you'll be able to see this on the 1440p and you're truly going to like appreciate just how beautiful 
Unreal Engine 4 looks. And what we can expect to see from Gears of War 5 on the Xbox One X from the Unreal Engine 4. A lot of people have been misunderestimating Unreal Engine 4 and uh, this is why I tell people do not underestimate Unreal Engine 4. Uh, the stuff I have seen, the demos I have seen from Unreal Engine 4, it's, it's like photorealistic. Like you can't tell if it's CGI. And another cool thing is, like, every time you zoom in and focus on something, uh, your voices might act get activated. They might tell you something, you know. Now, this game, it's only $29. Uh, it's really a good price if you ask me for I mean you're getting a very high quality game uh, and obviously possibilities of DLC are highly likely to happen so now which version should you go with uh, currently I'm playing a PC version uh, I haven't tried the PlayStation 4 Pro version but I expect PlayStation 4 Pro version to be 1440p with medium to high settings, which also is going to look great. But this is PC and this is a 60 frames per second, everything maxed out. And I do mean everything maxed out. So obviously PC is always going to be more superior. But I might do a comparison just for the, for the, just for the sake of it because both games are very cheap. They're not that expensive, you know. All right, there he is, right here. Illusion hides the path to Valraven. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth.
Okay, let's see what this is. Some sort of a gateway? Stunning. I mean, honestly, <laughs> it's probably one of the most stunning uh, graphical games I have seen so far at the moment that I'm recording this, and it really looks great. And this is what schizophrenia does. It indulges all these voices of paranoia where your heart rate changes, your panic attacks happens, your panic attacks, I mean. And uh, it's a serious problem. Oh, here we go.
I love the combat. Find us good position. Don't let them surround you. The combat's pretty cool, man. I love the combat mechanism. The combat system, it's amazing. Uh, I'm really digging the combat system. Every game should be... Imagine if they did Skyrim like this. If they did Skyrim like this, with this kind of graphics and combat mechanism... Oh my god. Forget about Grand Theft Auto, bro. That would be sick. All right, guys, so we're going to continue this tomorrow night. Uh, this is part number two. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed these two two parts that I did. The game looks stunning. Uh, I highly recommend you go get this game. It's only $29.99, $30. And uh, it already has got, like, high scores, like, very high scores. Okay? So, uh, having said all that... I'm going to end this uh, part number two, and thank you guys for watching, okay? I'll see you tomorrow night, Thursday, I mean Wednesday night, I'm sorry. Have a good night.